Hi, welcome to this uh, system. We are going to talk about Compton some more. A few days back, we had a major update for Compton. So if you do, if you do now an installation of Compton, which is the one that's going to uh, manage your windows, make it fading, uh, shading, and fading, shading, and transparency. So those three elements can be changed. And that's why this conky in here is uh, all transparent. That's why Termite is transparent. Because if we kill um, Compton, you'll see that everything becomes black. So no transparency anymore. The point of the video is to give you an overview of Compton and also to tell you that we have um, different desktops. We have five desktops that use Compton, five out of 12. So it does influence us. It Maybe you don't even like Compton, so you do pseudo pacman minus R Compton. It's gone. No transparency, no shading, no fading. Fine. Well, what if you do like it? Then you have awesome. You have BSPWM, you have i3, you have Openbox, and you have Xmonad. Those five at this point in time are using Compton, and Compton is a general application for these three uh, functionalities, but it's not that there is one particular Compton.com file for to please everybody. That's one, because it's a personal setting. Do you want shading or not? How much shading? What color of shading, etc. But also of hardware. So there are settings in there that are quite technical. And um, if everything works for you, great. Otherwise, you have to go and look for uh, solutions on the net, because it's all um, well, dependent on the hardware, you have the graphical driver you've bought and uh, what settings you need to, to apply to it. So let's have a look at Compton Com file. And depending on the desktop you're on, you go to a particular kind of uh, place. Xmonad has the .xmonad folder and in there is Compton. And I can show you the i3, i3 folder in .config. We have an i3 folder and we have here the Compton Conf. In BSPWM, the same and, and so on. But we're on Openbox. So Openbox, you would say it's going in here, but it's not. It's going in .config, Compton Conf. And then you say, Eric, how do I even know that? Well, basically, you have here this PAMIC, which is a great tool. You go to the repositories of Arc Linux repo scroll down and everything starts with Arc Linux, but then look for open box and we have open box themes and so on. So that's not what you need. Don't need this. And here it already ends. So it's, it's in here. And if you click up here and then go for files, you see that the dot, the, the Compton.conf is installed in etc scale. Of course, remember the, the idea that whatever you put in etc scale, and you make an ISO, it's going to be in your home directory. That's why it's there. So basically after a new update, if you do update in your terminal, you get the updates there in EDC scale. And that's why we scale and scale as a copy paste of everything that's in here to your home directory. So the Compton Conf is to be found in your home directory, .config, Compton Conf. That's how you analyze. And so you see, I have all the bookmarks I need. So we're going to dot config, Compton Conf and take a look. First of all, you need to be able to work. This is not interesting to work on. You choose down here, plain text, Perl. You can do the same thing in Atom and it will be also, well, uh, nice to look at in the sense that the coloring works. And if you forget to type this little sign here, then everything becomes orange, uh, yellow. So you say, oh, whoa, I did something wrong. Control set. Awesome. Shortcut. So that's the first thing you do. Put it to Perl. The same in Atom. Put it to Perl. Three blocks. Shadow block. Scroll through. Opacity block. So scroll through. And fading block. Okay. So these are the personal settings. This is not difficult. Shadow, true, false. Done. The other thing you need to do is opacity. Well, opacity is always on, except if it's inactive. So if you want to have the inactive, so if two screens open 
One is focused, the other one is inactive. If you want to make it opaque, so opacity, increase the opacity of that one, 0 0.9. And there you go, this inactive window is now see-through. So you see the wallpaper. We've had that in the past in OpenBox, but like everything, uh, it easily bores, so you have to change it up. And that's my point of this video altogether. Make Compton Comp your personal thing. There are probably as many Compton Comp settings as there are uh, persons in the world. I mean, it's really a personal thing. And the only thing you need to do, of course, before you try anything out, copy paste. But basically, you do know there is a copy already. You need to see scale waiting for you. If you do a scale again, everything is overwritten again. So there is always a backup in ETC scale, but make one in your home directory anyway. So uh, fading, fading can be set to true as well. And you can change the deltas, but I think these are sound values. Even if they say default is 30, I think this could be a better number. GLX and X render is the main, main message to everybody out there and now it gets difficult i mean difficult in the sense that we're no longer in the personal kind of choices shading yes fading no yes and and opacity yes or no now we are at the graphical part the graphical hardware part do you want to use x render as backend or you want to use glx as backend and that's become it becomes technical and even for me i say whoa too much uh, information there. The thing is, if you are having problems with your uh, rendering, well, first option is of course, get rid of Compton. Second option is keep trying and say, okay, what if, and that's the trial and error thing that you need to do. What if I change my VSync to this one? As we, we, have, had, we have had this one uh, prior. So it worked fine. None works fine too. I mean, <laughs> you have just to try it out and read and ask people because I have this kind of uh, heart, um, graphical heart, graphical card, yes, Whew. graphical card, look it up, Google it, content behind it and see what people say about the settings. Find other settings of Compton.conf. So all the information here, where would I go if I wanted to find out more about Compton? Okay. We go to ArchWiki Compton. That's always the first step. Go to the ArchWiki. There is a ton of information here. This is like going to the university and read and read and read. Lots of information here. And there might be something in here for you that say, oh, that's it. Another place to go is um, the AOR. Uh, sorry. Um, yes, let's go to the Arch Compton. So you've seen my video about the new Compton 4.0 went to 5.0. It's all explained, all the changes there. But what we've done as well, what we should do as well, um, is point you in this direction. So this is the GitHub of the developers. So whatever you get on your Arch machine is coming from here. Okay, so here's the development. But what you should know is that this wiki is just empty, but it's forked. And when you fork something, that's, I think, uh, not so good from uh, the site of GitHub. The wiki doesn't come with it, it seems. Otherwise, I would have forked it on my own uh, account and I would always have this code. This is the original developer. And the original developer does have a wiki. And we should uh, always consider that this might disappear at some point in time. So maybe it's a good thing to just um, go over it in the video. So if this Compton is disappearing, just one button to delete it and it's gone, then all the information is gone as well. So let's go scroll through it as well. So whenever this thing is gone, we'll have our video to take a look and to pause and read again. So it can be quite technical, but if, it, if everything works, uh, you're not even gonna look here, but you're also, you will only look at this if there are some issues. And here where it becomes technical. And then I say also, this is not my cup of tea, but um, there are people who say, try this, try that, try this, 
and that's what you do copy paste reload see if it works fine it works and then you forget about it that's as simple as that every channel challenge is, is uh, so easily for, forgotten again once um, you found it the solution then you make sure you put it on in the cloud somewhere so when you do a new installation you just can copy paste over so lots of information about nvidia drivers and settings here i'm so glad i don't have to bother about that everything just works here but you might need it some useful condition rules and then the vsync guide which is uh, synchronization of your screen the sync the hertz lots of choices so now we've done uh, i guess we've done none but there is drm open glm stuff you can choose and see if that works better for you and there you go we have um, read all the pages and it's all in the video so basically um, it's up to you to change stuff so shadow is false let's do it true and let's exaggerate by 50 save so you really see it and then inactivity let's do that as well 0.5 inactivity opacity active opacity let's just so the the window that's active stays um well opaque is the word non opaque non no opacity and um pop, pop, pop. fading is true we can ex exaggerate as well let's do that as well just for the fun of it and we have 50 x render is still on you to see your hardware what's what works best here backhand glx and a save don't close it because you want to do Control Z maybe later on, just minimize it and that like that, and then right mouse click. We have anyway possibility here in Open Box to do go into the preferences and go to the compositor and restart. So if it's not, you just log out, log in, and the compositor is going to 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 well read its content.conf and do this. Now you see all the fading coming in. It's really ridiculous. Look me pressing Control Alt T. Okay, and I think I do have a bigger shadow than usual, so that's the 50, and that's how you I think is best way to actually try out stuff is by really just. Yes, I clicked on Thunar, but Thunar is not active. This one is active. You see, this is active let's move you here you're active but this guy is not active so it's going to be opaque and that's what we used to have back i don't know two years or so in open box we like to have that it's nice but it's personal and that's my point and i'll end with that it's personal compton.conf is something personal there are many as many choices uh, for varieties out there as there are persons you set them the way you want them and um, it's all in the compton.conf you know now how to search for it and we have five desktops to set it the way you like it we'll change it the way we feel see fit like for instance um, we've changed already something and that's in the window tiling window win the tiling window managers we have set the the shadow to none so no shadow for um, i3 Let's start alphabetically. Awesome BSPWM i3 in Xmona. An open box is an exception. So there the shadow is still active. All right. Have fun uh, using Compton. Make backups. Try stuff out. And um, even trouble, go and look on the websites to find some more information. Cheers.